Hey people, I'm ZSH Plays, and today I'm going to show you the easy way to add custom billboards for all the animals in your zoos. And believe me when I tell you that when you are adding the 50th animal into your zoo and it's time to create the 50th custom billboard, you will be thanking me that you took the easy way. So this beautiful enclosure, which was built by my good friend Diggy Duff for our Pomoja Wildlife Park, does not have a custom sign. I threw some capuchins in here about five seconds before we released the park and didn't have time to make one. So this seems like a good place to demonstrate how I make my signs. So we're going to get rid of the default sign that I've put in here and then add in a standard habitat board. And the key to saving time with these is to let Frontier do the hard work for you. So I base all my custom signs on the default signs that Frontier provide and then just edit the lower third, add the proper zoo logo and everything else. And it only takes a couple of minutes to do each sign, which is the, uh, the main advantage of doing it this way. So that's the basic sign in. Let's get designing. So for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to be using a free app called Canva to make the signs. It is completely free and it runs in your browser, so it's absolutely perfect for doing things like this. So it's just canva.com and then we're going to create our first sign. So we go to create a design and then down to custom size. And the size for the Planet Zoo billboards is 456 by 256. So we create a design at that size. And there we've got the blank page. Now the next step might be in a different place depending on where you installed your game, but we're going to go to Program Files x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Planet Zoo, Provided Custom Textures, and then scroll down and find the Capuchin billboard. Once we've found that, we're just going to drag it straight into Canva, and then resize it so that it fills the area that we've created. So everything snaps to the edges in Canva, so you can just simply drag it up and then use the handles in the corners to resize it so that it fills the space. Now we're going to add an element in to customize this. So select the elements and then the square, make it black. And again, we're going to resize this so that it covers up all of the information in the lower third of the sign. And this gives us a blank canvas to add our own designs to. Personally, I don't like how you have the name of the animal in Latin and then in uh, Planet Zoo gibberish. Um, so I always have the name of the animal in English and then Latin underneath. So we'll select a nice font. I'm going with a dazzle one. Uh, we'll delete the second line because uh, we won't be needing that. And then we'll add the name of the animal in here. It's pretty large by default. So if we go to spacing and change that to zero, that'll give us better letter spacing. And then we'll reduce the size of the font until it's the size that we want it to be. And then drag that down and move that to here. And then we'll add the Latin name in underneath. So it defaults to all caps. There's a button at the top that you can use to turn that off once you've selected it. And you should never ever capitalize the second word in a scientific name. So I apologize to any biologists watching this. I've made the text of the Latin name smaller because that's what you'd normally see. And we're just going to adjust the size of all the text so that we've got enough space to add in the zoo's logo. Now, if you've created your own logo for the zoo, you can just drag the graphic in exactly the same as we did with the capuchin. Um, for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to assume you don't and create one using a different font. Like I said at the beginning of the tutorial, you can get as in-depth with this as you like, create some amazing habitat boards but in the interests of making this tutorial a decent length and also because like i say when you've got 50 60 different animals in the zoo you really don't want to be creating new custom amazing signs for every animal you want a nice simple template that you can easily edit so i'm just going to use the name of the zoo in a nice font and put that down in the right hand corner and we'll make some final adjustments to it get the size incorrect and that is the design part of the process done. So Canva saves everything you create automatically as you do it. So this template will be in your Canva account permanently. So whenever you want to add a new animal into the zoo, you can just replace the capuchin picture and edit the text and voila, you have a new sign. In order to actually get it into your zoo, we're gonna to go to download, keep the default options, and then save it into the user media folder on your computer, which should be under documents, frontier developments, planet zoo, user media. And that will appear in game in the little folder icon under replace image and you can bring that into your game and update your habitat so there you have it a nice custom sign created in a few minutes and once you've done a few of these you'll be banging them out in about two minutes i would imagine and you'll be ready to add them all over your zoo 
So I'll take a look at a slightly more complex example uh, that took a bit longer to create, but again, you end up with a template that you can very easily change. So a new animal picture, edit the text, and you've got habitat signs like this to go all around your zoo and really make it feel like your own. So that is the easy guide to creating habitat signs. If you enjoyed it, subscribe for more tutorials. And if you want to see some more of Pomoja Wildlife Park, then there's a whole series of it on my channel, and I'll put a link to it up on the screen now. Thanks for watching.